We're playing the rank 1 Korean Misfortune build again. And this time around we have a super synergistic lane. We have Leona support, with, which is one of the best synergizing supports with Misfortune, especially with Lethality Misfortune. And we're playing against Callista Nautilus, so this will be probably one of the most aggressive bot lanes I have played in the recent past. Well, here we go. At least Garen gets the kill and none of my lane opponents. This flowchart tells you which Misfortune build is the best for each matchup. Let's not get Nautilus hooked. Okay, we're alright. Let's get a head start on the lane. Hello for the Misfortune, it's over on YouTube as well, by the way. Live streaming on Twitch right now, as I do every Sunday. If you want to tune in next Sunday, a link in the description. And we have to avoid the Nautilus hook here, especially level 1. Callista is heavily favored. We need level 2 to fight. In level 6 we destroy them. That's the general idea of this lane. Yeah, just give them the level 2. We can't challenge their level 1. So we need to wait and farm under tower. Let the wave reset and then go from there. Leona not helping my last hits at all. Unlucky. But yeah, we can fight now. Start the poke. Dodge the hooks. Leona seems super afraid. Okay, now she's playing. How did that land on me? I really want to know. Made no sense. Get triumph. Keep going. Yeah. If Akshan dies now, then that's solely because of my Triumph giving me extra auto attacks. But he gets away. Anyway, in these early fights, you already see how much value. 50 damage almost from Coop and almost 100 healing from Triumph. It's uh, quite wild. You can go so aggressive. And we got a massive lead out of the deal because Kalista is missing all this farm. Whereas I should get some of it, it at least, pulling me ahead in experience. Yeah, plus we got Serrated Dark now, which is massive. Okay, just gotta not die here. Didn't want to waste mana because I will really, I, I will need it. I can't afford. It's very good for us. Nice. Maybe because I saved Leona had I not done this cowardly turn. I need to still get used to how aggressive this build is. I turned back ever so slightly, and this might have cost Leona her life, I'm not sure. She would probably have died regardless, let's be real. But, um... Bro, I gotta reset, I have zero mana. Yeah, we're getting stronger and stronger. Alright! Other lanes not looking too, too hot. I mean, mid lane's fine, it's ahead in CS, but enemy gets roams. Top lane slightly behind. Ooh. I should probably just watch the fight instead of complaining. <laughs> 
wave's good for me. I don't need to go there. Let's go. Yeah. She greedily tried to stop us. No way. This wave's building up against her. She's losing so much farm for that. What happened? Dragon, why? By the way, I'm not, I'm not casting W here. I just want to spend as little mana as possible. Thin this out just a little bit. So it doesn't crash as a big wave. Try to hit the Q bounce on Nautilus, of course. Yeah, we're gonna wait until the wave comes so we don't get hooked. And we're fine. Let's look for a good Q bounce if we can find one. This one? No. Not a crit, but damage is damage. Yeah, we can play this very aggressively now. My spell didn't go off because I lost vision. <laughs> Typical misfortune. Alright, next wave I'll turn level 6 and then we can go from there. Leona wants to recall? Why? Bro, we have all the advantage we could ask for. Okay. Get 6. Alright, and his flash. Sure. Now we just kill the wave and recall. I have no mana left. But this is what I mean. Once we turn level 6, we just go wild on them. One plating should be fine. Oh, please stop him. Oof. Spicy. <laughs> I actually got the perfect base timing here. Leona, for some reason, attacked the wave. If I had just based with me, everything would have been fine. But she didn't. Oh well, I'm on five kills now. The burden to carry is on me. I need to snowball this to victory. 51 seconds on ults. They might even be able to dive me. Because it's Nautilus Callista. Taking 50% off her health. Twenty seconds ults. I'm going for this. Had to try to kill her before they kill me, but there were too many enemies here. I was overcommitted already, yeah. Huge shutdown for Callista. Double kill, actually. That's nasty. Man, if only I'd played this a little better. I walked in too fast, too, too soon. Please keep them busy. If they overstay, this is so good for me. I'm on my way. Buddy, please. Chill. Clista executes. Okay. Overstay they did. 
Unfortunately, Callista executed, else I could have killed her too, maybe. Yeah. I still have ult ready as well. Definitely down for some fighting. I won't press W though. Get the wave, get her health. And don't get hooked. There we go. Callista is 1 HP or something. So we don't need to worry about her. But mana management is so important with this build. Let some more minions die. Clear the wave and recall. I have 3000 golds. Nice! Alright, I'm in prime position to carry 8 kills. Goodness gracious. But yeah. <laughs> this is precisely the win condition of this build. You either stomp them early or you don't. And when you don't, you're in trouble. But when you do, they're in so much more trouble. Actually, I'm kind of feeling the Serpent's Fang third in this game. Shield bow plus Nautilus shields plus all of these. Yeah, Serpent's Fang super good here. She's pushing, so I return bot lane real quick. <clears throat> Get this past river and then roam. Gotta hold mid lane for now. I can't even follow because if Akshan returns, he has one level on me and he has Kraken Slayer. He's a better duelist. I need to assassinate. If I get ambushed, I can't assassinate. So I walk the safe way and try to be useful. What are they doing? I don't get it. Right, I couldn't do it. Unlucky. There was no opening. They were not foolish enough to walk into me fully. Actually, I fixed top lane real quick. Now go back to fighting. <sighs> Good base for pickaxe, but how much is the full item? 1.5k. I flash out, I have to. Nice. I thought Nautilus would hook forward. No! Still good for us.
My Q didn't arrive, should have auto-attacked, would have been faster. But yeah, we, I still carried this fight easily. Just by removing Callista alone. Okay. But yeah, my old angle could have been better. I just banked on Otilus hooking forward, which he tried, but he missed. So my ult was a little too defensive in the end. Let's just recall. Not worth. I need more mana. And my items, first and foremost. Self and double long sword. I'm massive right now. Man, could you stop? <laughs> oh well, I have to carry the early and mid game and hope my team takes over from there. The late game isn't terrible, but it's definitely not on the level of. I mean, Kalista's late game is terrible too, so I don't need to worry actually. There we go. Get deleted. Just raw R, so she doesn't have time to react to my E cast animation. Just kill him, please. So I get the stealth. Nice. Yeah, the stealth plus triumph heal keeps you safe in team fights quite a bit. I have my ult back too because of Axiom Arc. It's actually quite crazy. This build is a pure adrenaline rush. Trust me. I'll just take the tower. Just ult away. Doesn't matter. Got Axiom. Got ult back in 20. Dude, this, <laughs> this build's actually quite fun to play. You're doing stuff right from level one. Ulti in five. The owner has ult two. I'm I'm kind of feeling it, but at the same time we should just recall. <laughs> yeah, we should recall. We're overstaying here. We're gambling if we stay. All right. Time to do even more stuff. Triumph also 340 gold. It's an extra kill, even more. This build quite terrible at taking Baron, but sure. Gotta be ready to ult if they come. Or when they come, rather. Okay, I got ulted. It's fine. Yeah, this is why I stayed back, so they can't focus me while the team is busy with Baron. Now we can crack open mid lane. Oh, why you dive this? Makes no sense. Just push with Baron buff, it's free. They can't do it, do anything to us. They can't challenge. Oh, 
Oh, they want to fight this, don't they? I have ulti. Nautilus doesn't have his. They just need to be in the back, be a threat in the back to punish whenever they try to engage on us. Just get top lane, though. I'd be so happy if my team doesn't fight here. Top lane's so free. Okay, team understood. Which I highly appreciate. We just take this in a couple autos. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Yeah, they have to challenge us here or they'd lose the game outrights. Triple inhib. What? Why? Can't you just play the game instead of trying to greed for nothing? <sighs> okay, Urga takes care of it. It's nice. Alright. <laughs> Urgot getting all the kill credit for everything. Come on, give him Penta. Or not. GG though. Yeah, clean S+. Plus. Who would have thought? With most damage, who would have thought? Yeah, this build, it's all about the early game snowball. If you can get a, a get a nice lead in lane, and you have the best chance to do so with Triumph, Coup de Grasse, Dark Harvest, Taste of Blood, um, then you're just running away with the game. It's absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, try it out for yourselves, and uh, for more misfortune stuff, click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.